crying their anger in the streets of Amman. Hundreds of protesters gathered outside the residence of Jordan's prime minister with posters of slain writer Nahid Attar. They say he failed to protect the prominent Christian writer. We are here to demand the resignation of the prime minister, who carries the responsibility for the killing of Nahid Attar. The government has broken its duty to provide protection to this person, who had received so many threats over the past few weeks. And this is where 56-year-old Nahid Attar was shot dead, outside the courthouse where he was due to stand trial for sharing a cartoon deemed offensive to Islam on Facebook. It showed a jihadist smoking in bed with two women, asking Allah to bring him some wine and cashews. Attar said he only meant to mock the jihadist vision of God in heaven. Regardless, the prime minister ordered his arrest and charged him with insulting Islam. His family says that decision is also what made him a target for Muslim extremists. Nahid is a big mouth everywhere. He was speaking about the situation in Jordan and the situation in our neighbors there in Syria. That's why they killed him. That's why they killed him because of that and because he was speak loudly in Jordan about Jordan, about everything wrong in Jordan. The shooter was arrested at the scene and local media have identified him as Riyad Abdullah, a former imam from a poor neighborhood in the eastern part of the capital. Attar has long been a controversial figure in Jordan. The anti-Islamist activist was a staunch supporter of the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad and an outspoken critic of the Islamic State group and al-Qaeda. While born a Christian, he considered himself an atheist. Many of Jordan's conservative Muslims saw Attar's work as deeply offensive. But such politically motivated assassinations are rare in the U.S.-backed Arab Kingdom, whose relative stability has distinguished it from war-torn neighbors such as Syria and Iraq.